to you all from me, Maxi. Hey, Maro. As you saw, we just arrived with the airport train from Oslo city centrum, and we're now at Oslo Gardermund Airport, if I couldn't pronounce it correctly. In this video, we're going to show you the departure process at Oslo Airport. So just follow us along and uh, we'll show you at least how it is for us to depart from this airport this morning. We're leaving on a, a flyer flight to Copenhagen, which is an international flight from Oslo. Let's move along. First thing we got to do is go up to departures, which is just up there. And we're following Maro all the way up. The one. It's a very nice hall. It's a very it's big, big hall. Lovely roof, like a wood. Look at that. Yeah. I think as one always says, this is pretty much Scandinavian design, the wood. Yeah. I know many other airports around the world also use the wood, but it is mm -hmm. rather Scandinavian. Very nice. But it's a big airport. Very nice. Big departure mm -hmm. hall. So now what we got to do is find the check-in gate for our flight. Of course, once we've finished joining with this. So, where are we going to find the check-in? Yeah. We've just got to follow. Ah, it's right in front of us, yeah? But, uh, as Maro says. We have two and a half hours to go, so I don't think it's open yet. We'll have a look anyway, and then uh, from this point, we just got to follow Maro around in real time. Yes. Well, sort of when we find our gate, and then you can just follow the process. Five minutes to security check, you can read up there on the board. Check in two, three. Check in two and three. There Check be, in be. two and three for our flight. Or what? Yeah. Where's our flight? Ten o'clock clear to Copenhagen. Ah, I see. Okay, two and three. Let's join Let's the go. queues then. Yes, it's a long queue. So Maro's leading the way. I'm following. She's got the speed on. After we got the suitcases out, we can check what lunch the hotel gave to us. Yeah, we got a little breakfast, breakfast back from the hotel. The queues are looking pretty long there. So hopefully it goes quickly, but we got lots of time, so it's not a problem. Just make sure that you get here on time if you are leaving early. So check-in desks up there. There's number three. Oh, it's all those. They're all two and three. There's also a bag drop. I think we can check in on the kiosk there and do a bag drop. I believe our airline has uh, check-in kiosks. Uh, yeah, because we can. Yeah, so let's go to a kiosk and check in there. So the check-in kiosk here lined up. It's Norwegian flights also. Let's see what they have. Well, we don't have boarding pass, so do we have it in the like our it, Yeah, do you have a booking reference? Yeah, on the top there, right? Yeah. Uh, English? Or yes, no? please. Okay. You don't have any dangerous goods? No medicine in your no. checked in? Nothing? No? no. no? So, boarding pass number. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. There. Oh, okay. Okay. Check in didn't work with our telephone, so we gotta go over to the counter. Yeah. And that's too good. As we make our way to our airline's desk. And down we go to fly. Tak skal du have. Tak. Tak, tak. And there we have flyer desk okay so now we are checked in next step is to pass through security and then no we won't pass through immigration I don't believe because no. we are going to a Schengen country yeah. which is Copenhagen so let's get a move on
just have to find where I see the departures area. It's there in the center, Augang Departures, Augang in Norwegian. And that's conveniently placed in the center of the airport. So when you have checked in at the desk, you can quickly go up there and that is security control. The first process you will be going through before you get airside. Looks like there are a lot of people over there. And I'll be turning the camera off now because we're not going to be allowed to film there. It does look like the queues are moving pretty fast. So we'll see you on the other side when we have passed through the security. Just before we pass the security area there, I must just mention that you should remember to have your boarding pass ready. You have to scan your boarding pass first before you get over to the security area. We're back again, We've just passed through security. Now we're going to go straight to the board, straight ahead, and see where our gate number, see what our gate number is. Trondheim. I see it there, gate D2, 10 o'clock, it's a five minute walk from here. Let's just have a look to the right and we'll take a little look to the left. This is quite a long airport. So we're going down to gate D2, so we are got to follow Maro down to the gate. Very nice airport, very busy for this time of the morning. Time here on the old trusty Pulsa is quarter past eight in the morning. One wouldn't suspect that there was corona here, no one's wearing masks in Oslo airport, it's not a requirement anymore. Thank goodness for that, we're going the right way in this corona pandemic age. Hopefully it will look a lot better this time next year. airport has recently been renovated as far as I remember. We were here in 2016 and there we could see there was a lot of work going on. Very nice airport. Very, it's very beautiful and it's very spacious. Marble floors as you can see. Big board up there ahead of us again. A bookshop for those of you who want to read something. If you've got a long flight. And we're just following Maro along to D2. You can see up there on the signs. Always follow the yellow signs in the airport. Oh, international, of ah, international departures. So gates D, E, and F are straight ahead of us. There's some money exchange. Maro's just showing the car. This is for one of our viewers who always enjoys seeing the airport what is cars. That mark, anyway? Hong, Hong Kli. Hong Kli. I've never heard that. What a monster. Let's go on to international departures. That nice colors up there. Yes. And off we go. Gate D. Free, tax free, tax free, tax free. So, those of you who want to do tax free shopping, Marlo's not going to be doing it. Oh, you have to go through it. You have see? to pass through it, very conveniently positioned as it always is. And in we go. We have to buy. But we can come here after. We're just going to go and find our gate first and then we'll probably wander a little bit around the airport also. The main point now is just to show you what it is like to walk through Oslo Gardermoen Airport for a flight which could be similar to your own flight if you were here too. Then we have the Chockeys and I'm following Maro and just getting that smell of duty free. It's a very nice, very nice duty free. Oh, and down to the gates we go. Little bar there on the right. A little bit quieter in this area now. Jamie Oliver. Uh -huh. And there we get our first view of the apron outside. Maro has her speed on. And we can just have a little glimpse outside there. It is a grey weather. It is October, end of October, here in Oslo, here in Norway. Are you going to be Twitty? I don't have my speedos on. 
And that was a little comment from the peanut gallery. She had her five, sec five seconds of fame. Heading on to gate D. It was D4, was it, Mara? I can't remember, quite honestly, because I'm so busy thinking what I'm going to say next and this little running commentary along the way. Some of our viewers don't like the commentary, some like the commentary, but I think personally it would be a little bit dull, the video, if one wasn't saying anything, just walking along. So there we have a little troll, trademark of Norway. And D2, and another apron out there, some SAS flights, another shop, kiosk. It's a lovely airport. I like it. Have you found the gate? You can take it here again. Yes. Oh, it is. Copenhagen. That would be our flight. So there you have it. Gate D2. And our gate.